Economy Candy actually started as a shoe and hat repair shop that had a push cart outside that sold candy. We started in 1937, my grandfather, Morris Cohen. We were on the location at Rivington and Essex, and we actually moved to this location, our current spot, in 1985. So we've been around since 1937, selling all candies from your childhood, your parents' childhood, your grandparents' childhood. Anything you'd like, we have it. You know, if they still make it anymore, we carry it. And if we don't have it, we'll find it for you. There's candies like Sky Bars, Mary Jane's, always going to be popular. And then there's things that come and go, new fads, new things. Right now, bacon's popular. There's bacon mints, bacon candy, bacon pop rocks, things that are gross, bean boozled, which is you get two jelly beans that look the same, but you don't know one tastes like booger, one tastes like green apple. The crazes change, but all your mainstays, your old school candy, uh, the pick and mix old time penny candy that we still sell for $2.99 a pound, that's really the bread and butter. People come in, load up on bags. For Halloween, we do an eight pound bag for $20. Whatever you want in candy is here. And, and the prices are, are very good. It's good that it's still here because, you know, every time a change comes, you end up spending more money. Halloween's the biggest time of the year. The week leading up to Halloween, and believe it or not, the day of Halloween is our biggest day of the year. We actually give away more candy than we sell on Halloween because we set up outside and give away all to the local kids. We get lines all the way around the block, you know, make sure everyone gets a big handful of candy, even try to come back with different costumes. We've been around for so long, you know, a part of it is just candy. People love candy, whether it's, you know, a chocolate bar, candy bar, it makes you happy. Everyone will always want candy something from their childhood, something that brings them back to the past. So there's a lot of, you know, new candy shops coming in, you know, that, that do things a little bit differently. We're trying to be an old school candy store, that one that you remember when you used to walk in when you were a kid and get whatever you wanted. You didn't go sit down for a burger and a milkshake, you know, you came for candy. You came to stock your pockets full of penny candy, go home happy and hide it from your parents.